All right, Dr. Anna Reno. I see you were thinking about possibly doing a facelift. Yes, can you tell me some more about the procedure? I'd be happy to. Well, you should be rest assured that this is a, an operation that's slowly increasing over the last 10 years. Women were always the first to jump into a facelift, but we see more and more men also doing it. Seems like there are several types of patients that are, you know, for several reasons, wanting to do the facial rejuvenation. Many people are working longer in the workforce, so they want to stay looking relevant, and so they want to compete against a younger workforce. Another group of people are really taking pride in themselves, they're eating better, they're working out, but what they're finding out is that no matter how well you take care of yourself, you can't slow the signs of aging in the face. There's no facial exercise you can do, there's no creams that you can do, and so now those patients are saying, I look older than I feel, and I want to change that. The last is people that are being told they look old or tired, and they don't want to look like that so they want to go through a rejuvenation process. The operation is very straightforward. Most patients are complaining mostly about the neck. That's really what they want to hit first, and then some jowling. So the operation is really some incisions around the ears on both sides, and sometimes an incision underneath the, the chin here that is completely obscure. But through that incision, we can restore the anatomy of the face, take off some excess skin, the the procedure itself is, is very well tolerated. Minimal swelling, minimal bruising. I usually tell patients to take about two weeks off of work, depending upon the type of work they do. Um, and most patients are back to exercising in about three weeks. Did I answer all your questions? Yeah, that's everything I was hoping to hear. Great, and I'd like to ask you some questions. Elissimo Plastic Surgery, your partner in defining you.